<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, back again, as promised, a little tutorial for how to draw an old school panther face. It's a pretty decent one, and uh, it's pretty quick and easy as well, this, uh, you know, it's uh, a lot easier than it seems, once you get the basics of how to kind of put it together, so, yeah, I'm sure you'll love it, so yeah, check it out, like, comment, share if you can, and then, yeah, I'll see you next time. Okay, people, how to draw an old school panther. Now, this one is actually a lot easier than it looks. And now, if you look try, you should have this one down. Perfect, easy, no problem. Let's go straight into this one. And now, uh, under a circle, kind of like an oval kind of circle shape. Another one, very close to it. Going through it, kind of like that. Nice one below. Big one on the side. A little one just there. This big one you want to kind of go just almost, just a little bit below the top of this and about halfway through this one, you know, see the bottom bit and the top bit to the side and the circle shape there and this pretty much makes up, makes up the basic shape of the face and that, so you can see this easy, I'm just going to go straight into pen and that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the nose see we've got this little V shape coming here we're going to bring this line back here, from here, to the top of that circle. Bring this line across, over there. See, pretty much like to the centre bit of this circle bit. Bring another line up, with a little flick, a bit below it. And then circle, but halfway through that line, up to the top, you see? Halfway through, connecting up to there. From the bottom bit of the nose, follow that circle shape, about two thirds of the way. Then stop, make quite a thick line there, and that, just off the side, you want to get some little uh, sort of uh, whiskers, bring a line out, bring a line in, bring a line out, bring a line in, so you bring it in just a little bit higher, <coughs> oh, excuse me, bring it out, bring it in, from the bottom bit, just curve, and then follow that circle around. I'm going to put a few little jumpy bits so you see I kind of go there and then I kind of bump out a little bit bump out a little bit you can just curve that straight if you want that just gives it a little bit more character two little more whisker bits just little curves in the middle bits simple one two three dots one two three dots one two three dots see just line the three line the three line the three dots on the inside bit, again, just big long whisker shape, bring a line out, bring a line in, bring a line out, bring a line in, bring a line out, bring a line in. You want to curve it so this one's slightly further down and this one's pointing a bit further up. Not too much tilt, just a little bit. And two little ones in the middle. And that. Bring the curve from the centre bit down. And like I've done on the outside, and there are a few little bumpy bits. So see here, bring like a curve, then bump it out a little bit. Get to here, bump it out a little bit. Bump it out a little bit. Flick there. I'm not joining up just yet. Then another one, just on the outside. Copying the same kind of circle shape. And bumping out in the same locations. I'll join that one up. It's going to bring another line across there so it matches up. And what I'm going to do, where that nose bit was, I'm going to bring a curved line. Come in there. And see we've done that circle? I'm going to do a curve here. I'm going to have it curving and then cutting about a third of the way through the circle and flicking here. Real simple. See, just like that. You see, curve, quite a long curve, cutting through that circle shape. Then I'm going to put the rest of that circle shape. And voila, we have an eye. A little dot in there. And now I'm going to do a little line detail, just a little cheek bit just underneath. And then just off the edge, I'm going to bring a line 
and break up in the middle with another curved bit. And we'll do that three times. See, just like that. You'll see why I've done that in a bit. I just off the edge. Little line bit there. Another line off the top of that. Curve. Like that. And then curve straight to about there. See, so it pretty much follows the line of the eye. See this one? And that, then you're going to bring another line through the center. Going just a bit further. See, to about there. And that. One, two, three dots. One, two, three dots. One, two, three dots. Same point of whisker bits. Now I'm going to put in the teeth. Put in like a quite sharp kind of canine tooth. Like there. And then do four little curved ones. One, two, three, four. Then another canine one. Real simple. You can put other ones in. Like I put a little one in there just for the hell of it. Don't have to. But you want those ones there. Two canines and a four centre teeth. Bottom bit of the jaw. You want to curve. Curve up a little bit. And curve in. Now when you do this, you want this curve to go lower down than this curve bit is. Just a little bit. Not too much, just a bit. And where it curves in, you want to put in the bottom canine tooth. Then one, two, three, four curves. Then the other canine. <coughs> canine just straight up, then straight down. Curve, curve, curve for the teeth. Underneath, we're going to copy the line just like that. See the same sort of parallel line, just creating a little kind of bit there, so it's like a little tunnel bit. For the beard bit, do like a V shape, kind of like that at the bottom. Then just do little kind of V flicks off the side. See, just like that. Little line, big line. And just work your way up to the top of the chin. You know, and see how I followed that same curve from the circle bit we done? And then do the same thing going the other way. See, just like that. And then what I'm going to do here is the uh, inside of the cheek. Now, if you want to be simple, you can just have this curve here and connect up to here. I'm going to make mine a bit jaggedy. I'm going to come here, here, and go back up. Just give it a bit more character. So you see here, jagged a bit. Join up. I'm just going to carry on that line around it. Joining up to there. And that you see, it just gives it a bit more character. You know, you can put like a tooth bit in here if you want. Another tooth there. And then what I'm going to do is add the tongue. Now, a tongue, usually very generic for this, always the same, usually. Do like an upside down V shape in the middle. Starting from the uh, four teeth and going a little bit further out than a canine. But halfway through that line, curve up and then curve it to the inside of the mouth, just like that. See? Curve, curve. And then follow that same line just on the side. Connect up onto the other bit of the tongue. See, so curve there to there. And then just two little lines on the edge. And that'd be like this bit just on this side of the mouth. Real simple. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this line out here, curve, and then I'm going to bring this line around here for the cheek. So you see a little curve, and then I'm going to follow that big circle line we've done, remember? Like that. Where, the, where this bit ends, we're going to bring a line out, with a flick, see that, then curve the other way. Bring that back in a bit wider, just like that. And then off the bottom, bit of a semicircle kind of shape. Another one, connecting up to there. Off the edge here. Another bit. And that'd be the ears. And now this bit you probably want to sketch in with pencil because I know a lot of you, a lot of people will probably do this bit too skinny. We're doing a neck now. Now if you've got this line here. Now this bit next on a curve like this. So you're following that curve shape to about there. And now the other one, you want to try to go from the noses and make like a curve like this. 
So you say you get a nice big bit of curve. You know, you want the neck being nice and chunky. You don't want it being too small. But then again, you don't want it being too fat, I guess. Then a curve line down the bottom like that. You could have like roses here. You could put like a rose here. Rose here. You could have a banner going through the middle if you wanted. And that's my little decorative bits and flowers and stuff around the edge. There's always ways you could do that. But for now, I'm just going to join the neck down. I'm going to make it look like the head's been kind of severed off. This is like a really kind of old school kind of way of doing it. Bring the little line like that. Bring it back a little bit. Cover back to the bottom of that line. Now just join that line up and then put your line around here. Joining up to there. And now what I'm going to do in the middle, I'm going to do a little curve. See like that? Bring a line down, curve out this way, and curve back. You know, almost like a little fish hook. If you imagine like a fish hook, and then come and do another one, go the other way, going up. See, it's made like a bone shape. Real simple. Then join that line back up, and there you have it. That's like a severed head. And now I'm going to grab me a block. Now this bit's quite simple, you want to colour in everywhere except for the bits that kind of touch the line, so leave a little gap around here, leave a line in the middle here, quite a big space here, and just little bits just like around this eye bit, across this top, and just a little bit of detail around here, and that. Some bits you can kind of flick out, some bits you don't want to. I colour in this and I point out the bits not to colour, now this is just solid black this bit, real simple. Using a flexi marker for this, you can use Tria, Copic, Pro markers, anything. Now, here we go. So you can see, you know, that's all the black done in. You see how I left like a big white space here in the cheek, white space in the middle, there, there, in the ear, and just a little bit like around the top of the heads, just there, just to show the shape and it gives it a bit of shading. But what we're going to do to make that even better, get yourself a nice grey. And then what we're going to do is going to do like another line just on the inside of the white. Not quite going up to the edge because you want to leave a white space, just do like a grey line. You can go over this repeatedly and blend it out. If you're using water paints, it's a bit easier. Or just keep going over your pen. We just do this all around those white gaps. See how simple that is? And then I'm going to get me a pink. I'm going to colour the inside of the ear pink. Just a nice bold pink. The bit's just behind the eyeball. Get yourself a nice baby blue. And colour in the eye. But just leave a little bit around the edge and a little bit on the inside, just just like a curve here, curve here, a line bit at the top. No. You got all sorts of ways you can do it, but just play about with it. No, those little white bits kind of give the eye like a little sort of shine. Grab a red. Now the tongue we're gonna to colour in, but same thing like we've done on the outside, we're just leaving a little white edge. You don't have to, but I like the way it looks. See, so just like that. See, so you just leave that little white edge there and the white edge on those inside bits. Now, if you've got a purple, you can go straight into purple, but I'm going to use pink, then I'm going to go over in blue, just for the back of the mouth. And that, with these pens, it gives off a real nice purple. Just do that. Be 
vedere now there's something not everyone does but I like to do I'm going to color my teeth orange I don't do this on a lot of them but on the old school panthers uh, for some reason it just ends up looking really cool well I thought it does in a way if not just leave your teeth a nice shining white or yellow or put some blood or stuff in there lots of ways to do it the nose colour in red colour in brown, purple, pink, whatever doesn't make too much difference this under bit it has been severed, just colour in bold red just like that if you want you can do like some little blood drips you know, just bring like a little curve, like teardrop shape. Not necessary, but it looks pretty good. Sometimes you do a few little drips down here as if it's dripping. That is if you haven't put like flowers or a banner here. A little bit of blood on the bottom of the bone. Just like that. Then the rest of it is just pretty much up to you, it's just playing about a bit like uh, the inside bit here I like to colour in yellow, you go, but I quite like it. Again I kind of don't go straight up to the line, I kind of play around the lines. Just adds a bit more dynamic to it. Side. <sighs> Voila. It is done. Old school panther face. I said you can always sort of, you know, add roses and stuff around it, you know, it's just a feature, it's a grand part of it. You know, if you check out my Etsy page, you'll see like a few designs in that where stuff like this is kind of incorporated to give you ideas. You know, so it's pretty cool. But for now, yeah, that is it. That is how to draw an old school panther face. And a very traditional style. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you can, like it, comment, whatever. Anything else you want to see, just leave a comment and that and I'll try to get around to doing it. My next one's gonna be an old school pirate ship. Then I think I'm doing a pin up. And I've got a phoenix at some point, a snake, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up. This is going to be really good. Well, it'll always be really good, but some new, some exciting ones to look out for. So, yeah, keep your eyes open. And that, check out my other videos. And I will see you next time.